In today's Leeds news, new principal shirt sponsor, Sal and the Turnit make a move for Hjelda, Bamford likely to leave, Leeds line up Dennis, under 21 Euro update, and Rodrigo to Qatar. Morning folks, Jay here on Thursday the 29th of June with your Leeds United news. I know I said yesterday I might not get a video out today, but I've got a quick sneaky video in before I have to head to the airport. So um, as I said, I will do a video tomorrow if anything is announced. Um, it'll be a bit more mobile than this, but I will do it tomorrow morning if anything breaks. Uh, otherwise, it'll be Monday before the next news video is out. But we'll crack on with this and we'll fly into it. I'm going to start with some uh, positive moves at, at the moment. Anyway, in terms of the club and it's uh, a new short sponsor, uh, Leeds have announced a new principal sponsorship partnership with Boxed or Box T, the uh, boiler company. Leeds have had dealings with them in the past as a short safe sponsor in the season. Leeds got promoted to the Premier League um, and in the Premier League before they moved to Wish. Uh, SBO Topper announced as the new sponsor for Fulham yesterday. It was interesting to see what the partnership would mean with Leeds and um, Leeds have now moved on from that good news in terms of kids can now wear a shirt that actually has a sponsor logo on it that, that their um, their favorite players are wearing which is nice and um, the other side to as well as Leeds are probably future proofing themselves here with the gambling ban in the Premier League kicking in that gambling ban doesn't apply to the, the championship so you can still have a front of shirt sponsor that's a gambling firm in the championship from two years time um, but Leeds possibly getting ahead of this it's a one year deal with Box um, which will bring Leeds hopefully back into a Premier League sponsorship deal. There has been talks in the past the 49ers are trying to do some sort of a connected 49ers and Legion United joint sponsorship, which they reckon would be a huge sponsorship opportunity and bringing a huge amount of money if they could do that. That could be something they'd look to sell in next year. This 12-month contract with, with Boxed will get them to the end of the season. Uh, I've seen a couple of mock-ups. I've shared it on Twitter what the, what the new shirt would look like with Boxed on it. Actually looks pretty nice. It's actually pretty nice. So uh, a lot more normal leads blue. But um, yep, that's the that's the first move. So we've got a new sponsor now. Then we just need to see the kit, which is usually comes at the first first week of July. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. And um, still nothing on the manager situation coming out of the club, but again, we have to hope that gets sorted by tomorrow. Uh, let's move on. Let's talk about a player who's been linked with a move away, and it's only a link currently. This is according to Sky Italia, but Sal and Turner have, according to this report, are said to have made a move to bring Leo Hjelda to Italy. Uh, according to the report, there was interest last week from Sal and Turner, who expressed an interest in leads in the player. They've now said that that as now looks like it could be a move to bring the player to Sal and Turner on a permanent basis. Hjelda is in a weird situation where he's a left centre back who can play left back and did play left back on lawn at Rotherham last year. Leeds pretty highly covered on the left hand centre back position with, with Vover and Stroke. Left back less so. And it looks like there could be a situation where Hjelda moves on. He's only 19 years of age still, so there's still plenty of time. A loan move would seem to make the most sense here. Uh, it does say there's no deal done and nothing agreed in principle. It's just an initial contact about trying to sign the player on a permanent basis. So it's very possible he could actually stay stay at Leeds. But um, there is interest in the player. And speaking of players that could leave Leeds, and according to the Express, Leeds are likely to move Patrick Bamford on this season. The article states that there are interested parties across across Europe as well as locally, um, and that Leeds are highly likely to bring in a replacement for the player um, on the back of what was described as an inconsistent and injury riddled season. Um, it it was exactly that. It's been two years of injuries for Pat, unfortunately for him. And um, there's no concrete noise on this around any teams that are linked it says regions more so than any clubs that are interested there hasn't been a lot of rumors around anyone expressing interest or bids on pat bamford which could be quite tricky um but it'll be interesting to see how leeds handle this situation to decide to keep him on for a year to the wait until preseason happens see what his fitness levels are like and he get through a tough preseason before they move him on um or if they move them on if if they move him on at all but um according to express leads are looking at replacements and are likely to move him on and those replacements are said to be then um, um the next story which is emmanuel dennis and also according to express but also the mail uh, leads are keen on a move for nottingham forest striker emmanuel Dennis, uh, yes, the reports said that the 49ers were going to have ambitious plans for this summer. Sam Field has already been linked as well as a move for Nat Phillips. Um, and now Emmanuel Dennis is being linked with a move to the club. Um, it says that Dennis arrived at Forest last year for £15 million, paid 27 
played 27 appearances for the club, only scored two goals and what was a very unusual season for Forrest, a huge amount of players in rotation. Um, has got a very good record in the Championship, though, and that must be said as well. Whether it'll be a £15 million pound fee if Leeds do make a move, it's very unlikely considering that this season he's had in the Premier League and that will affect his, his price tag. But it says here that um, Leeds are highly likely, highly likely to make a move for Dennis. So have to wait and see there. Uh, before we get to the end of this, we'll get into the Euro Under-21 updates. And again, we'll start off with uh, Leo, Chris Klassen. We'll start with Chris Klassen and Leo Hjelda. Uh, so Leo, Chris Klassen played and 90 minutes and kept a clean sheet in Norway's 1-0 win over Italy. Leo Hjelda was an unused sub in that game. Willignanto also played in that match for Italy. He played just over the hour mark, but unfortunately a 1-0 defeat for Italy means Italy will go out of the competition. Um, Charlie Creswell for England started and played 90 minutes in England's 2-0 victory over Germany. He finished the game with a 91% passing accuracy and zero dribbles past him, which is a huge stat to have. His stats on these kind of games look really, really good. It is on the 21 level, that should be stated, but on the back of the second half of the season, he had a Millwall, a player that will is looking very strong coming into preseason for Leeds. Uh, it will be said, though, that um, Italy are out of the competition now. Chris Somerville's Holland are out of the competition now. Though there are two players that can return to Leeds probably at the end of next week, so they'll only miss one week of, week, week of preseason. And however, the likely person to stay at the club is Charlie Craswell, who is moving on with England and could miss the first two to three weeks of preseason and what is a four week preseason followed by friendly. So, not ideal situation there, but it is what it is. Uh, moving on to the final story of the day so far, I'm just keeping an eye on updates as well because this is pretty early going out. And uh, we'll start, we'll go move on to the final story, which is. Rodrigo, sorry, falling over words this morning. Um, according to journalist Bruno Andrade, Rodrigo is in advance talks to sign for Qatari side Al Rayan. Now, you can poke holes in this pretty easily. There's a lot of misinformation in this and incorrect statements in this, and that's important to say. The report claims that Rodrigo's fee release clause has dropped to £2.6 million. Pounds. They say it was €3 million, Euro, which is £2.6 £2. million. Pounds. But... It wasn't. It was three million pounds, three point something million pounds, um, and they're claiming it has dropped to two point six million pounds, which doesn't happen with release clauses. It is what it is. They don't drop over time, and um, so that's the first bit. But they say there are there is interest from other clubs. Sevilla still said to be keen on bringing Rodrigo in as well. The, the best hope Leeds have of getting anything more than this three and a half million or three million release clause is for other clubs to get involved. A lot of clubs could see Rodrigo as a, as a bargain for anything under ten million or up to ten million. So you could get a couple of clubs bidding in increments around or under the 10 million pound mark which could get leads a few a few quid more but they do say there are other clubs and there is expected to be interest in the player from from around the world as well and um, the report also says that um this is the other the whole to poke at it they also say that um, rodrigo who was voted leads player of the year this season i mean leads haven't had any player of the year awards they cancelled them last year and it looks like they cancelled them again this year so i haven't seen anything that states that rodrigo was leeds united's player of the year this year so there's a lot of um incorrect information or, or assumed information in this report so i would um take that with a truck of salt probably for now and um yeah we'll come back to this but there is interest that's the first thing we can we can say and that's gonna be it for me for today folks a short one um but as i said i'm off <laughs> so i guess they actually get to take a break for a little bit um there won't be a video tomorrow unless something happens um so i'll be back on monday a bit of a weird week this week but um is what it is but uh, as always thanks for everyone who supported thanks for everyone who subscribed yesterday as well i really appreciate it and uh, i'll be back on monday morning with more leads news unless something happens in which case you'll see me dialing from my phone so I'll talk to you then have a great weekend and then um, enjoy yourselves see you monday bye